What immediately makes a man woman unattractive? Speaking down to someone else in order to get the group's attention laugh. Snidely putting down other people for no reason. Especially if the other person was talking about something they're passionate about. That shit hurts my soul. How they treat others. Years ago, before meeting a blind date for the first time she told me over the phone that she hoped that I didn't wear glasses because she found them unattractive and couldn't see herself dating a guy with glasses. So, I met her later. And she wore glasses. I find hypocrites unattractive now. Ignorance and a wish to stay that way instead of improving. Not being interested in anyone outside of themselves. They say they don't like dinosaurs. When they think they know everything are always right. Constant whining. My dad once told me a story about a woman he was dating. They stopped at Walmart and she needed to pick up fruit. She asks a worker where the mangoes were and they pointed her to the passion fruit. She yelled at them and told them they were an imbecile. As soon as they left, my dad dropped her off and dumped her. So, yeah. Being rude to workers, is 100 a turn off. Ignorance with pride, so they are ignorant, and don't care to improve. Poor hygiene. Telling lies. An elitist persona. I've known too many elitists, they're all emotionally stunted. When they test you during a first date. Constantly spreading negativity and talking about how miserable they are. Liking me romantically. Can't stand someone with such bad taste. Braided nose hair. If they treat others like shit I go as limp as a dead hamster. Asking these questions five times a fucking day. Bad smell. Men who have no intellectual curiosity, don't like to learn about things, are proud of not having read a book since they were in school. The inability to respect a no or take rejection with grace. Also, the need to feel superior at the expense of others. Deal breakers for any relationship platonic or romantic. This is my personal opinion. But people that are really into Disney and Marvel DC Cinematic Universe. Like they make it their whole persona and are shocked when you say you don't enjoy the movies. I'm sorry okay? I can talk only about women. But if I'm in the pub waiting in line and you are trying to cut in the queue. That's an instant turn off. Women without basic manners. A giant eye. Negative outlook on everything. When they're incapable of maintaining a simple conversation. Is that hard to talk to me without going through your phone? Is your life that boring? Is my company that despicable? If you're rude to waiters or anyone in the service industry. If you look down on others think you're better than everyone else. If you lack perspective doesn't matter where you come from but if you're completely oblivious to anything that isn't your world that's deeply unattractive. Worshipping a politician. Physically bad breath attitude talking shit about people behind their back, or complaining about everything. Coprophagia. Disrespect, mind games, passive aggressiveness, and abuse. Arrogance. Being rude to waiters. Bad breath odor having fake character, trying too much to be attractive, making fun of disabled people, neutral face, hello again to everyone I'm just making an edit here to respond to everyone under this comment cause there are too many haha joking about oneself who is disabled is way 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 far from different than making fun of somebody who is disabled I don't think anyone would want to go out or even hang out with somebody who mocks people for something they can't control it's a giant red flag and childish, membership in the Borg, being mean to your mom or animals, being shitty to waitstaff, and customer service people in general, when they treat other humans like trash, plaque on teeth, puffy red gums, arrogance, a sense of entitlement, not having a sense of humor is the worst. I will 100 date the less attractive guy I can laugh with or makes me laugh than someone who's really hot but dry and too serious, poor hygiene, talking about their ex on the first date, texting a lot on the first date, being a bitch asshole, when they got smelly arse, being a complete Karen and treating people like shit, stupidity, a violent outburst over a small thing, dick pics taken on the toilet, putting others down to impress me, chewing with their mouth open, not really a particular gender, but I find anyone who's way too manicured unattractive, when people are comfortable in themselves and embrace their flaws, I find it way more attractive than someone who looks like they spend hours getting ready with every hair in its perfect place and outfits that look pristine. If they enjoy being mean, bad breath, poor hygiene lol, attention seeking. It's really exhausting to be around and really hard to engage form a relationship with someone who has this behavior. Constantly spitting, being a complainer. Is that even a word? A girl who complains about everything. They talk about Jeffrey Dahmer like he's a character from an anime and not a real-life serial killer that killed many people and hurt their families. Narcissism. Way I to confident. Like Terry's nothing wrong with a little confidence but I hate it when people think they're better than everyone. Having to raise a grown-ass man. Arrogance or B.O. Anyone who tries to decide anything for someone else. Anyone who pushed their religion into another. Anyone who lies. Addictions. Smoking vaping. Morbid obesity. Some people can carry a little extra weight well, 
but when you get to a certain point I just don't see how anybody could find you attractive. Parents still do their laundry well into adulthood. Talking on cell while ordering food from a worker. Smoking. If they don't like dogs, or even more so if the dog doesn't like them. They have poor reading comprehension. Being an alpha. Alphas don't exist. The entire concept is based on a study of wolves that has not only been disproven, but the original scientist who published the theory spent the remainder of his career spreading the word that he was wrong in researching actual wolf behaviors. Anyone who claims to be an alpha immediately tells me a few things about themselves when they just believe what they want to believe without bothering to check if it's true. Likely, they're unwilling to accept truth when they're corrected. Two, they don't think things through. There is no an alpha. There could only be a the alpha if it was even a thing in the first place. You can't have an entire community of leaders in the same way that you can't have a restaurant with only managers and no cooks. 3. They look down on others. Newf said, For anyone who needs to announce to the world how big and cool and strong they are only does so because they can't prove it with their actions. Not liking animals. Rude to waitstaff. Hates theater and the arts. When she walks into the bedroom with a giant purple strap on, and says I'm daddy now bitch. Smoking. Huge turnoff. Possessiveness. A rules for thee, not for me type attitude. Closely related to the I'm setting the bar low for myself, in regards to what you get from me and will constantly increase the your bar height, because I'm the prize type attitude. Being a bully to other people to try and look cool. Have like two guys at my workplace that literally never drop the tough guy act and I don't think they realize how big of a douchebag they look like. Also not being able to control yourself. If you get angry and throw a fit over something that's not a big deal then I will avoid you like the plague. After the past experiences I've had with people I don't play games when it comes to stuff like that. Dated this girl once and we were driving through the snow and her car got stuck and I'm just thinking oh man this sucks but it's no big deal well she started full blown snapping the fuck out. Like screaming and literally stopping her feet. Ended the relationship the very next day. Keeping me in the dark on important issues then being mad at me when I'm unaware. Enjoying Andrew date. Potential narcissist. The traits usually come out first few dates. Then you block numbers. It's self crap. Being negative about everything. Bad breath. Bigotry. Smoking. Being overly occupied with what other people think. Smoking and bad hygiene. Smelling like cigarette smoke. Smoking smoking. Being an asshole. Rude and arrogant behavior. Being social media obsessed. My roommate is physically attractive, available, and obviously in close proximity, but I'm not buying what she's selling. Somehow nothing is ever her fault. This is odd because she's quite careless and ignorant in ways that lead to more than her share of mistakes, misadventures, and outright disasters. I know it's a defense mechanism, but her inability to see inward and tolerate moments of self-doubt makes her entirely unrelatable. I can't imagine her in a romantic way or think of her as a sexual being. She's like an alien. Ugh, what a beta male is an alpha male. These females. Ew. Bigotry in any form. When I notice they can't apologize. This might take some time. But the first time I notice the person can't apologize for what they did wrong, truthfully, to me it's not unattractive, it's the reddest of red flags. Using slur words. Wears a fedora and says milady. When women wear too much makeup and have lips like they are a duck. Smelling like cigarettes. Misogyny. I find a man unattractive who doesn't know how to carry a conversation in a reciprocal fashion, listening, asking a question, being asked a question, answering, expressing empathy or the ability to relate asking follow-up questions, unattractive bragging about oneself, dominating the conversation, not asking questions, not listening, offering condescending advice, self-centered, rude remarks, posting this same question when it's been answered 100 times already, your cap, bragging about having an attitude, entitlement and no concern for others, inflated egos, I swear this is the seventh time I see the exact same post this week, arrogance, no respect for others. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video. If you have something to say critically or otherwise, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to see more of it. I hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives.